वहाँ पे भी इट ऑलवेज यूज टू बी लाइक कि ग्रो कर रहा है यार देखो ये तुम क्यों नहीं करते एक टिपिंग पॉइंट वॉज की दे सेट की ग्रो देखो वर्ब हो गया नाउन नहीं रह गया तो मुझे लगा है ये तो गूगल के लीग्स में जा रहा है ग्रो कहाँ मैं यहाँ फंसा हूँ वेन बी आई वॉज इन जीरो टू वन फेज ऑफ ग्रो वॉज एट वी वर अलाउड टू एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड फेल हैविंग दैट सिक्योरिटी दैट यू कैन ट्राई आउट समथिंग न्यू एंड यू कैन यू आर अलाउड टू फेल एंड देन लर्न एंड गेट बैक ऑन यूर फीट आर फाउंडर्स आर वेरी मेच्योर दे हैव बिल्ड प्रोडक्ट्स Dalit for that matter build a startup that failed so that that also makes them very humble people who are truly respectful of the team and then that's the culture that we all are expected to adhere to and just the fact that not just the leadership not just the founders but the kind of managers they've made right like whenever now i take any decision i i just think ki mera manager kaise decision lega mere founders kaise decision lenge and that's how your learning curve grows freedom that we have it's more than work when i was at grow i could just walk up to harsh or lalit i was not afraid of disagreeing with them on something that didn't sit well with me it used to always be a very healthy debate generally as humans we don't value what we have and to the grass is always green on the other side the charm of something outside is always there tor mangla ke office mein maine last day jab jaate hue ek picture liya tha ki okay last day at grow and i just took that picture again ki okay first day at grow again <laughs> All of us have heard of the return to work movement but some of us took it way too seriously I'm talking about the return to grow movement wait what do i mean by that well at some point in times some folks at grow left the company and then decided to come back but why hi i'm arunima and today i'll be speaking to homecomers to figure out exactly that by the way at the end of this video is a very exciting segment so stay tuned now let's dive right in hello and welcome to a very special video here today we celebrate the homecomers of grow or those essentially folks who made a comeback time to spin the tea let's cut to the chase anane why don't you start by telling us why did you leave grow before leaving i already completed 2 years here but then isse zyada aur kya so that aur kya question always i used to ask myself and that's why i think just to explore more i joined in edtech and then came back so i think that was my major reason to go and then later i'll tell what was the major reason to come back <laughs> divyani aur kya was that a question on your mind as well absolutely it was uh, actually i started my career in fintech throughout my career i have been in fintech in different roles within finance specifically in the mutual fund and investment space so it was very specific industry that i was a part of i wanted to see ki baki industries mein content kaise hota hai also at that time we were in the middle of a pandemic all of us were working from home you get all kinds of thoughts in your mind at that time this thought came to my mind and i kind of took action on it so for me it was mostly to explore what was going on in the market in a field outside of fintech i think one point i would want to add that in pandemic because you were working from home while you were working in office it is always you learning from people who in the vicinity right like if two seniors are talking to each other you understand what is their perspective how they are taking decisions but when you're home and just like doing that transactional calls as a junior person or as a newcomer i was not really getting more uh learnings so i think that is also one point that, so that's why i was just trying to know more in the world got it shishir aise koi pandemic khayal aapko bhi aaye kya ha aaya to so i had my daughter during the pandemic so i had one school of thought ki growth should be more than an execution platform we should have advisory so some company reached out to me they said ki yaar hum we are building something similar to grow so aa jao we'll have advisory mujhe laga yaar chalo dekhte hain yahan pe wahan pe bhi it always used to be like ki grow kar raha hai yaar dekho ye tum kyun nahi karte ho so then ek tipping point was ki they said ki grow dekho verb ho gaya noun nahi reh gaya so mujhe laga ye to google ke leaks mein ja raha hai grow kahan main yahan phasa hu chalo chalte hain so but yeah for you do get like aise idhar udhar ke khayal aate rehta covid was like very transactional so wad 10 baje laptop khol ke baith jao meeting meeting meetings fir wahi pe room mein lunch kar raho dinner kar raho so i got like thoda bahut idhar hey why ruka dimag aur but speaking of the transition of noun to work you also sort of transition to a new company वहाँ पे क्या एक्सपीरियंस था वट डिड यू यू नो वट वॉज योर जर्नी लाइक ओवर देर सो द कम दैट आई मूव टू वॉज टिल इन इट्स वेरी अर्ली स्टेजेस ऑफ ग्रोथ एंड दैट्स अ फेज दैट आई यूजली आई सॉ दैट इन ऑल द कंपनीज दैट आई वर्क विद सो आई वॉज इन द जीरो टू वन फेज ऑफ द स्टार्टअप आई वॉज ऑलवेज एन एम्प्लॉय इन सच कंपनीज तो इट वॉज एन एक्साइटिंग फेज फॉर मी वेरी चैलेंजिंग ऑल्सो एंड द गुड पार्ट अबाउट ग्रो वेन वेन वी आई वॉज इन द जीरो टू वन फेज ऑफ ग्रो वॉज एट वी वर अलाउड टू experiment 
and fail. You know, fail fast is something that Grow always talks about. It's having that security that you can try out something new and you can you are allowed to fail and then learn and get back on your feet. This is something that was not maybe available at the place that I went to. I mean, the mistakes were taken really seriously and not as experiments or, or, or a stepping stone to something uh, bigger or a learning. So just to add to Devyani's point, I launched something COVID mein, which failed actually two things. COVID mein, which failed miserably. Yeah, but aisa kuch hu, I'm still here, mother. <laughs> so, it's yeah, don't no worry. You're allowed to fail. Uh-huh. Everyone so here is. allowed to fail. Aman, you've been very quiet. What was your experience like in the new company? Couple of things, right? One, generally as humans, we don't value what we have. And two, the grass is always green on the other side. So, wherever you are, right? And no matter like what, what kind of place you are, what kind of work you are doing, you know, what kind of opportunities you're getting, the charm of something outside is always there, right? And you always feel like, hey, listen, I'm, maybe I'm missing out something that's out there. That's going to be more engaging, more interesting, more fun, more rewarding overall, right? Wherever I went, some of the very basics that we have at Grow, that yeah, we're going to be respectful to each other. We're going to have a bias for action. We'll try a lot of things. Some will work, some may not work, but we are free to sort of experiment, you know, try things out and double down on everything that's working, right? Being able to make decisions every day, create some impact or result into something. Some of those very basics that we don't have to really even think about right at grow may or may not be there and uh i have a lot of friends you know we all have friends who work outside all of us who are at grow we've been at multiple organizations earlier we know what the world is like in my mind the best thing is that our founders are very mature they have built products dalit for that matter built a startup that failed so that, that also makes them very humble people who are truly respectful of the team and then that's a culture that we all are expected to adhere to so I'll do the same for my team and I'll, you know, invest in them and hope for their success. And that's that's just how we built the organization. That- Adding to yeah. Aman's point, uh, the freedom that we have, it's more than work. So when I was in my last company, they were like, why don't you do shave? Why don't you do your hair? Why don't you do your jeans? Why don't you do your jeans? So I thought, what the hell is going on? I thought, what the hell is going on? Then there were some things happened that leadership was clarity nahi hoti thi yep. so i used to tell them ki boss agar aapko ye x like 2x growth chahiye you help me with this they were like yaar tere ko kis liye rakha tu manage bhi kar le isko so i was like yaar ye kaun si baat hai lalit ko main kuch bhi bolta tha ki i wanted this for example i was doing some integration with a vendor he was ex colleague with neeraj and lalit so they personally called him ki yaar shishir is going to your office just connect him with your architect so that was the level of help that was the level of guidance mentorship you had so i was like yaar ye kahan phas gaya main so that kept on building and ek din fir i had to stop god it shishir's experience sounds more like uh, school <laughs> than actually a company but um, Aman raised a very valid point about missing out, right? Us company mein reh kar, kis cheez ka FOMO hua about grow? The day I left, from the second day itself, I was missing out. Like my colleagues or my friends who were in grow used to attend that all hands online and I used to cry. Why did I do this to myself? Because in like next two months only, I was again thinking to shift. I never even thought that I can come back. Though there was no um, thing from the founders or the team which made me feel like that. But I just didn't consider that because I had to see another world. Dekhna tha. Uh, but then yeah, somehow it happened. Uh, also, I never had a benchmark because Grow was the only company I worked with. And when I went out, I just couldn't understand that these are the problems in the world which is in every company mein hota hai, but I never realized that in Grow or never felt that in Grow. Like the lack of clarity. Like our founders have so much clarity. जो चीज ब्लैक है ब्लैक है जो चीज व्हाइट है व्हाइट है कस्टमर सेंट्रिसिटी दे डोंट रियर नीड जस्ट से इट लाउड दे एक्चुअली वी वी बीन डूइंग एवरी थिंग जस्ट फॉर द कस्टमर और दूसरी कंपनी इज वेट्स मोर लाइक कि हमको पैसा बनाना है हमको और फंडिंग उठानी है और लाइक मुझे फाउंडर बनना है लाइक दैट इज द एम्बिशन वॉट पीपल हैव राइट श्योर अगेन इन टर्म्स ऑफ कल्चर इन टर्म्स ऑफ ट्रांसपेरेंसी आर टीम नोज वॉट वी वॉन्ट टू बिल्ड आर फाउंडर्स नो वाई वी वॉन्ट टू बिल्ड इट वी ऑल नो दैट इज इन ग्रेन की हमको पर्पज क्या है क्या सॉल्व कर रहे हैं फॉर द कस्टमर ऑल्सो देर इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट नज की और क्या कर सकते हैं इससे ज्यादा क्या लाइक वॉट टू डू नेक्स्ट हाउ डू वी स्केल इट सो एंड दैट्स ऑल्सो इन पॉजिटिव सेंस लाइक दैट गिवस अ कॉन्स्टेंट पॉजिटिव प्रेशर फॉर मी एज एन इंडिविजुअल ऑल्सो टू ग्रो मोर 
कि यार मैं अपनी बाउंड्रीज और कैसे एक्सीड करूँ एंड आई थिंक डेफिनेटली दिस पार्ट टेकन केयर बाय देवयानी की करो एक्सपेरिमेंट्स यू आर ओपन टू एक्सपेरिमेंट्स फेल एंड लर्न इन दैट्स हाउ यू ऑल्सो एज एन इंडिविजुअल ग्रो सो कंपनी इज ऑल्सो डूइंग एंड गिविंग दैट पावर फ्रॉम अ इंटर्न से लेके फॉर टू अ फाउंडर और लीडरशिप तक वी ऑल हैव इक्वल काइंड ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज फीलिंग ऑफ ओनरशिप काइंड ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड लाइक वेन आई ज्वाइन द कंपनी मैं फ्रेशर थी इन नेक्स्ट थ्री मंथ फोर मंथ्स आई वॉज गिवन द अपॉर्चुनिटी कि यार लाखों का डिसीजन ले लो I was not confident myself, but like I was given that platform to do that. I think that's the best part of growth. Kabi micro management nahi, kabi when these things jo dusre log crib karte the, dusri companies ke crib karte the, I never used to relate. Once I went out, I was like, this is shit, man. This is something I never felt, Th- and I don't want to feel like that. This is FOMO level ultra pro <laughs> max. <laughs> Devyani was it the same for you did you Yeah it was actually more than FOMO it was the stark like Ananya said the stark difference right whatever i took for granted at grow i was fighting for those basic things at the at the place that i went to one thing that was very different was the lack of accessibility and accessibility in the true sense that i had to the leadership team not just in terms in, in you know meeting uh, them but also in terms of receptivity to different ideas to different things When I was at Grow I could just walk up to Harsh or Lalit I was not afraid of disagreeing with them on something that that didn't sit well with me it used to always be a very healthy debate I could just walk up to these people give them a call text them on WhatsApp and I know for a fact ki they will respond to me if they have set up a call with me there is going to be a meeting so the accessibility that I had to the founders here made me feel very assured ki kuch bhi problem hoga I have these people who have my back I can kind of go to them for guidance and I'll get it वो मुझे वहाँ नहीं मिला विच आई मिस अलॉट वाओ हैविंग फाउंडर्स ऑन स्पीड डायल इज सुपर एन एंड यू नो एक्सेसिबिलिटी इज अ ह्यूज ह्यूज पॉइंट बट लेट्स कट टू द पार्ट वेयर यू नो यू रियलाइज दैट दिस इज इट आई वॉन्ट टू कम बैक अमन वॉट वॉज दैट मोमेंट लाइक फॉर यू हो डिड यू रीच आउट टू यू नो शेयर विद अस योर इंटायर होम कमिंग जर्नी आई थिंक विद इन अ वीक of me moving up <laughs> one week new record <laughs> yeah i had started having thoughts of going back to the x the best part is that even when i was leaving my, like my last day at grow i had a conversation with the founders and i had conversation with everyone else and everybody was actually very shocked right that why am i moving out i seem like you know one of the enthusiastic people around or something like that but um, i was constantly in touch not just with the founders but So here's the thing, right? Uh, a lot of workplaces tend to get very toxic, which is unlike what we have here at Grow. Because if I look at most of the people I hang out with, even outside work, those are actually mostly my colleagues, and that happens because you know we're in an environment where we all can sort of be free with each other. After I moved out of Grow, we all were in touch, right? I was speaking to Ananya, uh, you know, Devyani, um, Tamanna, right? Other folks who had come back, so. the idea was we all were having this thought right that hey you know we were all every day we were benchmarking our life with what we had and then we, increasingly with every day we were constantly feeling hey listen you know this doesn't make sense was there one big moment which is a catalyst for you that damn i made a bad decision aisa kuch hua tha kya i don't think there was one moment to be honest it was every mo- every moment we spent at It the new workplace <laughs> right um it constantly made us feel that we were wrong right that this was not a wise decision this is not smart once you build like a good equation at work right it's extremely valuable it's not like a lot of times in your life i've close to about 15 years of work experience now it is not something that you find very easily in life it's rare i was so invested in grow because if i build things where i even try to hire my own replacement because i did not want all the good work that i put in to get sabotaged due to my absence and here's what i learned right even after i moved out everything that i had built only got better everything that we had only grew further the fact that i moved out frankly did not even make a difference and that's what really was for me it was like a moment of truth that you know what it's an institution man it's not just a few things that you may have done ultimately this place works and to be part of a team where you have that is is a privilege grow is an institution that's such a powerful thought a similar thought occurred to you shushir uh, what was your homecoming journey like so i was in constant touch with varun and i was in constant touch with neeraj so i used to share my apk for feedbacks ki neeraj ji ne banaya feature ek baar aap check karoge kya so he used to say ki yaar bahut slow chal raha hai main kehta hu chalo dekhta hu to fir main do teen baar ke baad bandi kar diya wo hamesha ye feedback de bahut kharab chalta hai to maine kaha theek hai chalo so then i told uh, neeraj ki i'm not very happy in my current company and i i'm looking for 
so he told ki you talk to varun uh, we'll have something figured out so that's the level of you know affection neeraj ko kuch pada nahi tha you could have easily said yaar theek hai tu chala gaya your call ab bhogat so he was very theek hai yaar varun se baat kar we'll figure out something so that's how i came back i talked to varun i explained everything to him ki yaar this is not working out for me unki they expected me ki ek tu jadoo ki chadi la aur app bana de aur isko number 1 pe pahuncha de ek saal ke andar nahi pahuncha hai to main tere ko meeting mein sunaunga the i always felt yaar what the hell aisa thode hota hai i always used to reminiscence ki how lalit and Gru- harsh used to stand in forum mall they used to take customers feedback unke khade ho jate the bagal mein they used to see wo kaise navigate kar rahe so i thought ye log to ye kar hi nahi rahe ye mere se expect kar rahe mumbai aa ja fir wahan pe dekh lenge kuch so i thought ye na this won't work out so that's how i came back hopefully no mumbaiers were triggered in this conversation <laughs> <laughs> were you also given a jadoo ki chadi to work magic kya and what was the homecoming journey like who you in touch with so again like all of like what ananya said and aman said i also started getting second thoughts from maybe the first month and the first one month was okay but after that i also started getting second thoughts ki i think i've made a huge mistake but i i never felt like ananya said no ki i it never occurred to me ki i can go back because i didn't know that i would be accepted or it would be something that grow would take me back So but um I was in touch with Harsh he used to sometimes message me how are you how are you feeling he used to actually ask me how are you feeling at the uh, new place what are you guys doing uh, in a very uh, so I used to always always tell him about it ki hey this is what we are working on to have a very casual conversations i actually got uh, triggered about the whole thing that oh my god why did i leave and that was like a moment for me when satyendra dela came on board and i was like my god these guys are going this is this is huge right so for me uh, it was a huge moment and i i remember very distinctly reading that news because it was all over in the news and then um, i don't know what happened but i just messaged a congratulations message to lalit and he just wrote thanks you should come back when he said that that gave me the courage ki oh so i can i mean the door is open then it gave me some confidence to think more clearly about this and then maybe take more concrete steps then i had a conversation with harsh which again went so it was so nice it was a very nice friendly conversation it didn't feel like there was no uh, bad blood right he wasn't upset he was really interested in knowing how my career has changed in the last 6 7 months that i was at this company he wanted to know what is it that i have in mind for my career he was telling me very openly about the plans that grow has where i can fit in it went beautifully even that that was a bigger uh, i mean confidence boost yeah speaking about how it wasn't salty at all with the founders what was the first day back like did people treat you like geek on air i think yeah so uh, in those 4 months only the company grew like anything and as she told uh harsh has been in constant touch we also have friends here so we always knew what is happening in the company but just the fact that uh, you are an ex employee and the founder is just messaging you to understand how are you like like even that itself is a very powerful thing and uh, i think not just that like genuinely being interested how are you uh, what you what you want to do what are you building what are you learning more in terms of that in next 3 months only i was searching for more jobs but again i was in uh, conflict that okay what if i choose another bad like i do another mistake i choose another bad company what if so i just uh, harsh has always been a mentor i just uh, messaged him ki harsh uh, would you be able to help me out and i had no like no thought of asking him to come back because again as he said like i i didn't think about that and then being an ex employee harsh being a founder of like 3 million dollar company giving one hour to an ex employee to just make her understand ki tumhare liye kya sahi hai tum kahan pe kya acha sikhoge what kind of companies you would be happy at and what you would be really solving for in the whole one hour duration he just made me understand where i will be happy as a person as an employee or as a person who wants to learn more and then in just the end kiranya ye sab jo aap apan baat kar rahe hain ye sab kuch grow mein hai then why not and i was like i have never thought but right now in this moment i don't have any second thought and like i just want to come back 
and just the fact that not just the leadership not just the founders but the kind of managers they've made right like from every team whenever now i take any decision i i just think ki mera manager kaise decision lega mera mere founders kaise decision lenge and that's how your learning curve grows tormangla ke office mein maine last day jab jaate hue ek picture liya tha ki okay last day at grow and i just took that picture again ki okay first day at grow again and like that was the whole uh, very very emotional very nostalgic and just like the feeling of coming back home ki abhi jaise chuttiyon mein ghar jaate hain same same feeling i love how it isn't such a scarring thing but also very healthy right what was the first day back for you aman let me set the context right so this was still work from home so we were still in a pandemic it was not really coming back to office to be honest you know i had like spent my one year at grow during the pandemic when i came back then also came back during the pandemic here's what happened right so generally when you work right you there's a bunch of people that you work closely with you engage with these people every day uh, you know you have to take their help for your work or, or something right? so you deal with some functions more you don't deal with a lot of other functions and things like that right? and generally it's the other people that you don't engage with there's no camaraderie or anything like that there's no shared you know experiences and things like that but when i came back a lot of these people who i did not even know about right? just reached out to me and said hey welcome so good to see you back and i was like i'm really surprised that you even acknowledged my existence right i think my going out of grow wouldn't have made bit of a difference to you right? but a lot of these people came to me and you know they welcomed me and you know said good things and they were like we were really surprised why did you go i always feel you know set up some time with harsh and lalit and they spoke to me and you know welcomed me and yeah i i felt i just came back home exactly how and uh, phrased it right it was literally ghar wapsi wow ghar wapsi on that note aman to your mind what is it about grow that you really really cherished and really missed Here's the thing, right? Most companies in the world, and, and they're absolutely, absolutely ethical in sort of doing this. But most companies tend to target the top one percent, two percent of our population, right? So they're like, okay, you know what? These people have the money. Why talk to other people? Why waste time? These are the good people, so to speak. Let's go after them. Let's target them. Here's what happened at Grow. Right? I was in in my elevator one day, and there was this guy, the very young kid, twenty-two year old, who was wearing the facility management staff uniform. And um, I was wearing my Grow T-shirt, and this guy uh, asked me, "Sir, up Grow me काम करते हो कि investor हो?" And I told him, uh, "Grow me काम करता हूँ." Then I asked him, "कि आप क्यों पूछ रहे हो? आप Grow me invest करते हो?" He said, "Ha, sir, I grow me invest करता हूँ." And then he showed me his portfolio, and this guy is like, "Okay, so just to give you context, this guy works at a facility management company that is serving my community. He's from a small town called Balia in UP. This was this conversation was in Noida. Like, this is the first job that he's taken up." after his graduation and uh, he showed me his portfolio he was investing in three blue chip mutual funds he had a stock portfolio of about 35000 and in those the stocks that he had all of them were very good stock very good quality companies and um, i asked him up कैसे मतलब कैसे कर रहे हो ये सब सो ही वॉज लाइक सर मैं आपका YouTube चैनल देखता हूँ और मैं और भी लोग के YouTube चैनल देखता हूँ और मैं यहाँ से सीखता हूँ समझता हूँ और फिर मैं चेक करता हूँ कि मैं जो सीख रहा हूँ मैं सही कर रहा हूँ कि नहीं कर रहा हूँ फिर मैं आपका कॉन्टेंट आता है सब क्योंकि हिंदी में होता है मैं समझ जाता हूँ कुछ कुछ इंग्लिश का भी मैं समझ जाता हूँ एंड दैट वॉज अ मोमेंट फॉर मी राइट बिकॉज हियर द थिंग राइट वाइल वी वी कुड बी इन इन्वेस्टिंग स्पेस इन अ स्पेस दैट मे बी ग्लोरिफाइज मेकिंग मनी एटसेट्रा बट हियर से सेक्शन ऑफ आर सोसाइटी दैट इज ऑल्सो ग्रोइंग विद अस वेन आई वॉज ट्वेंटी टू ईयर ओल्ड आई डिड नॉट इवन नो वट इज स्टॉक मार्केट आई डिड नॉट इवन नो वट इज म्यूचुअल फंड इट टूक मी मे बी लाइक यू नो वेन आई वॉज इन माई लेट ट्वेंटीज एंड मे बी अर्ली थर्टीज दैट्स वेन आई रियलाइज ओके आई नीड टू स्टार्ट इन्वेस्टिंग इन थिंग्स लाइक दैट एट ट्वेंटी टू आई वॉज नॉट इवन थिंकिंग अबाउट इन्वेस्टिंग आई वॉज नॉट इवन थिंग अबाउट सेविंग फोर एंड अबाउट एवरीथिंग एल्स बट दिस किड इज ऑब्वियसली नॉट फ्रॉम अ वेरी प्रिवलेज बैकग्राउंड he is obviously not in one of the best jobs that you and i will probably take up today but if this guy just continues what he is doing today for the next 10 years he may be starting a business he may be building his own facility management company and he'll have the capital because well he is growing with india so yeah that's the reason why we are doing something that probably a lot of financial services companies in india are not doing i think i have a similar instance are you doing अब इंडिया करेगा इन्वेस्ट इन मैसूर आई जस्ट जॉइन द कंपनी एंड द फर्स्ट वैलिडेशन ऑफ मी दैट आई डन राइट व्हेन आई केम बैक वी वर डूइंग दैट अब इंडिया करेगा इन्वेस्ट इनिशिएटिव इवेंट इन मैसूर एंड द पर्सन हु वाज सर्विंग वाटर देयर ही जस्ट लाइक टुक मी असाइड एंड आज कि मैम मेरा भी अकाउंट है ग्रो में मैंने एक दो में इन्वेस्ट कर रखा है बट मुझे और पढ़ना है आप मुझे बता सकते हैं क्या एंड ही वॉज एक्चुअली लर्निंग थ्रू द यूट्यूब चैनल एंड द न्यूज लेटर एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट ही वॉज काइंड ऑफ बिकॉज ही वॉज इन मैसूर सो ही 
kind of understood english so he he was able to understand everything which we create right now but i think uh, if we see like 10 years 7 8 years before in the market sab logo ko yahi lagta tha ki yaar jinke paas paisa hai jo bade bade business wale hain wo invest karte hain but now we have seen so many people from every background just talking about ki yaar either wo kar rahe hain invest ya start kar rahe hain ya karna chahte hain and that nudge that push uh uh fintech or platforms or companies like us have created and that's how i see the impact what this company has been creating in these many years so i think you yeah. can see the impact of your work every yes, day yes yeah. yes yes yeah. yeah summarizing what uh, aman and ananya said i have stopped wearing grow ki t-shirts because jahan jao matlab main agar apni society mein walk kar raha hota कहाँ इन्वेस्ट कर दूँ बता दो तो देख मेरा यूट्यूब चैनल देख लेना सो एयरपोर्ट पे लाइक लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स आगे चले जाओ हाँ सो दे आज की ग्रो में काम करते हो मैं पहले तो बोल देता था हाँ करता हूँ तो देन यू टू आज की कौन से म्यूचुअल फंड में करूँ कौन से फंड अब मैं नहीं मैं इन्वेस्टर हूँ मैं तो जाऊँ बस नहीं करता काम आपकी वो रिस्पेक्ट है एंड पीपल आर इन्वेस्टिंग सो नंबर स्पीक फॉर दिन आप देखो इंडिया में लास्ट टू ईयर्स में जितने डिमैट्स अकाउंट खुले हैं इट्स द फास्टेस्ट ग्रोथ द एक्सचेंजेस है वेवर रिकॉर्डेड सो आई थिंक ग्रो हैज अ लार्ज पार्ट टू प्ले इन दैट absolutely i think the one thought that ties everyone together here is the fact that it goes beyond an individual right the sheer impact is i am taking a moment to process it and also just these anecdotes of um, the junior staff uh, person you spoke about right or the one at uh, ab india career invest the field is real i don't know how else to put it but on that note i think we can segue into the next segment of this video which is a rapid fire round it's the most exciting part all of you have exactly one word to answer this question and it has to be super rapid and full of fire are you ready we'll start with shishir which emoji is a total mood for the office vibe yeah a good one okay go for it uh the one with heart And the one with the sunglasses, always cool. <laughs> I think the rocket. Oh, no, rocket. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Good one, good That's a good one. one. Okay, I think Aman takes the marks. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's one. <laughs> Aman, let's start with you now. If grow was an animal, what would it be? Cheetah, of course. Yeah. The fastest growing. Agree. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Cheetah. I agree. Oh. I think that that feeling of beast mode, like beast mode. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> Question number three: Which Bollywood movie title best describes the company culture? हम साथ साथ हैं। ज़िंदगी दोबारा। कंपनी पार्टीज आज ब्लू है पानी पानी और तो आई डों फॉर कंपनी पार्टीज वो तो उसके बाद ब्लर हो जाता है मेरे याद भी मेरे को ये करना है what actually ties back to grow also so and iron man is my favorite so mere dimag mein wahi aaya i think you can share some comic books with ananya yeah <laughs> no, i've read my comic books yeah so sorry <laughs> on that note thank you so much for your time this was absolutely wonderful thank you for sharing your experience thank, thank, you. You. thank, thank you. you thank you so here's to all the boomerangs the comebacks the once lost now found you see it grow we're not just a trend we're a classic that never goes out of style have you ever had a similar experience to the return to grow movie? Comment. Share it with us in the comments. If you enjoyed watching this video, then do like and share it. Until next time.